Hi everyone, welcome back to Job one for all and in this video we are going to talk about primitive types and a little bit of convention. Before we move on, that is something that I would like to do here and uh, from the developer point of view it's pretty bad, you should never do that. But since this is just a training video, uh, well, we are allowed to do some stuff in training that we are, we are not going to do in real life. What I'm going to do here is rename this class. So just uh, press Shift and F6, and I'm going to rename this, and I'm going to explain why. The name will be now Class01. Hello, Dev Dojo, and I will press Refactor. William, why are you doing this? Because after 30 videos, it can get pretty confusing to figure out uh, your timeline of studies. So if you have all the classes named like this, it's easier for you, for example, if you want to kind of check your progress in a timely manner, uh, it's just going back and see the, the order of the, the classes you created. In real life, never, ever, ever do that. So now that we know that we should never do that and we are going to do it again, let's create a new class. So alt insert, insert and then a Java class. And class 02, primitive types. And uh, I have this because I'm versioning my code. Uh, it will be on GitHub and each video, it is a branch. So every time I add, it will become green and everything that I changed, it will become blue. Okay, so as you know, this is uh, the public class that the name matches exactly the file name and we have to type the function that's the main entry point for our program that's the public static void main and then string args so we then this is quite painful to write every time do I have to write this every single time well it depends Almost all professors and teachers out there, they will say that you shouldn't till you memorize. But honestly, I'm trying to get you to the job uh, that you dream as fast as possible. So I'm just start uh, giving you some shortcuts. On IntelliJ, what you can do is type PSVM and then tab. And you have, uh, this is because I clicked uh, F11. So by pressing tab, you will get the full function exactly like uh, I typed before. So it's pretty straightforward. Every time we create now, I'm going to use PSVM and I will press tab. Another thing, when you are running multiple classes, you will see that we have here this drop down. And this drop down is the previous, previous uh, class video. That's the class 01. If I just run here, I'm not executing this class. I'm executing the previous class. I have a couple of options here. First, I can change, uh, but uh, since we didn't compile yet, it's not an option. So we have to run here. And now I have two options. And as you can see, there is no output. And now if I select again, I can choose to run the old class. So as you can see, the key promoter is uh, bothering me, saying that I could have pressed a shortcut for that. And now we have two shortcuts. One is to execute the class that you are actually in by pressing Control Shift F10. You will see that it's going to change here. Control Shift F10. Or if you want to execute what is in the drop down instead of your focus class just press shift and then F10. As you can see, I'm running the previous class, that's class 01. So just remember these shortcuts and uh, you actually know three shortcuts already. Alt insert, actually shift F F6 to refactor and then control shift F10 and then shift F10. And it's getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so let's talk about primitive types. So we have eight type of primitive types in Java, int, double, float, boolean, 
char byte short long. So these these eight types they are primitive types. What do I mean by primitive types? They are types that we can declare our variables, and these variables they are just simple values. What does that mean? That means once we understand objects, uh, it will be a bit clear that we are basically just storing some numbers, some simple value inside our memory. And you can notice here that all these names, they are full lowercase. And it's pretty important because, for example, if you type double like this, you can see that this is a keyword. All of them, they are keywords. And... I can name my variable, but first I'm going to show here that if you also type double like this, it also works. But when we talk about wrappers, you are going to understand why. But so far, we only know about primitive uh, types, and this is what we should do. Just type everything lowercase. Now let's talk about syntax. What does uh, syntax means here? It means that when we are creating a variable in Java, we first need to tell the type. So Java is uh, strongly typed, and I think this is beautiful. We have to first tell the type, and then we have to use uh, or type the name of the variable, the identifier. We don't, does that mean that we have a new convention to remember? Yes, it means that we have a new convention, and it's pretty straightforward. The first convention is about classes, and we know that if we have multiple names, or if we have only one name, the first letter of each one of the words should be uppercase. So class 02, primitive type. So primitive types and class, they are all uh, individual words and all of them, they start with uppercase. But when you are naming variables, it should be like this, but the first word always lowercase. So for example, I can tell here, let's use int age and by typing. Semicolon, you always end with semicolon if you're not ending with uh, curly braces. This is how it works, and you can press Ctrl Shift F10, and you will see that your program is compiling and running, but it's not doing anything because we are not actually doing anything. So, what we are doing here is creating a variable, its type is integer, and then the name is age. If I was to have multiple words, age of my mother, it would be something like this. But let's keep only age. Remember, first case, uh, first word, lowercase, and then each word after that, you just follow the same as the class. The first letter should be uppercase, capital letter. Okay, William, how do I put some values? Uh, if you are not familiar with what is uh, a variable, basically a variable is just a space in memory that you are creating. So you are telling here that to Java, please get a space in memory. And uh, I would like to kind of have a reference later because I want to get this uh, value later. And basically you are doing this. You have age and age is having a reference, it's just a primitive type, to this space right here in memory. But right now, the space is empty. Why? Because we didn't put anything. So how do we put values inside this variable? Through the equal sign. So you are assigning a value to the age space. And I will say, for example, 10. So now, it looks like this. If I want to get this value back, how do I do it? Well, we can use system out print ln and type here h. Can you see that I'm not using double quotes? That's because I do not want to print the word h. I would like to use the value that is inside the memory. If I type something, for example, uh, that does not exist, is not a variable, uh, it will give an error, for example, age of. So this does not exist. And as we can see, this will not compile. So cannot find a symbol. I need to fix this by removing off. And now I'm telling, hey, when you print, just get the value that is 
inside this space. So basically, the printout one, we need to do this. Pretty straightforward, oops. So, what does that mean? That means that you can get any value that is inside your memory and you can print in the console. Control Shift at 10. And we have the value 10 displayed. If I put this between double quotes, you will see age instead of the value. Uh, William, what about if I want to type a nice message saying the age is? I can do that by adding double quotes here, but we still have a problem. We need to tell, hey, I want you to print this, the age is, but I also would like you to put the age together. So how do we do this concatenation? In Java, it's just using the plus sign. So basically now it's going to print this plus this. Control Shift F10. Control Shift F10, I was not in it in the right place and we have here now the age is 10 but if I want to add another message after well it's possible just plus sign to put more strings and then double quotes control shift F10 and now as we can see we have a nice message getting the value that's inside our memory so I think that's enough content for one video. Let's continue in the next one. Bye.